and welcome back to Let's Play Gothic 3. Now, here on today's episode, we just cleared that cave, uh, which was the uh, big cave behind the Grain Thieves. We got another special weapons chest from that mission. So I'm curving around the mountains back in the direction of Okara now, because there are some other quests we got to do for Okara, if we want to. One quest involves coming up this way and taking out some uh, beasts. Who would have thought there'd be a quest taking out beasts in this game? Well, there is. How exciting. Okay. It is raining. It's pouring. The old man is not snoring. He might be, I don't know. Let's, um... Let's go, just go up this way, though, keep, and stay close to this cliff edge. Because it's not necessarily the safest thing to travel through that forest right now. Until we've cleared it of beasts. Now, if you come over to the edge of the forest here, or this cliff, you're going to see a few things. First of all, if I get my bow out, I can aim. There's going to be a... Uh, I think there's a beast over there. That might be a tree trunk. But there's these malicious ripper beasts, okay? And that's what we need to take out. So let's quick save. And let's give it a try. We'll just use the old uh, bow, and then we'll melee if they get close. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. I should probably try to isolate them. They're very confused regarding the train, which is fine. Okay. And what I've done here is I've sped up the footage uh, to kind of get through this hunting section and just show you the hunt, but, you know, not take up too much time on the video here. Uh, so we got the malicious ripper beast. Now, of course, as we've talked about in the past, anytime there's an adjective, especially an uh, interesting adjective in front of a random beast's name, it's usually part of a quest, and this is no exception. This is part of a quest that we're going to get later in the video, but uh, again, I just wanted to speed up the uh, action um, so as to not uh, take up too much time here. So let's uh, go back to normal time now. Yeah. The thing is, when you get these point-blank face shots, you're pretty much, pretty much going to kill whatever comes at you, as long as they're not immune or resistant. So I got some Okara reputation. I think I got some hunting points there as well. Speaking of hunting points, I just grabbed a goblin berry. And uh, I'm just going to do this close edge to the, to the cliff there. And then I'm going to, foolishly, I'm going to try to kill this wolf. If he's got friends, now nah, he's got friends. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'll do that later. Okay, and then <coughs> the um, Malicious Ripper Beasts, I think, are part of a quest. Yeah, I think it's going to be right up here. Kind of hard to find, unless you know what you're looking for. But uh, I'm grabbing the plants around here, too. To let myself know I've been here. We'll go up there in a second. But, um, just grabbing some plants. Okay. This better be the last video for the evening, too. It's 2.30, and I've got to be at work by 10, so... 2.30 a.m., 10 a.m. All, all time Central Standard. Okay, getting this plant here, and I think that will do it for plants. Alright, and we got this cowardly guy in here. Okay. By Enos, you scared me. Damn it, how'd you get in here? What a jumpy fellow. 
You're rather jumpy for a warrior. Those nasty brutes. The well, I'm gonna the t t turn in the quest here, sure. and he's gonna give me a hundred bucks, and I get a little bit more experience, and then I'm convincing him to go to Okara. And I'm gonna give him three hundred. Just whatever. Since you're asking so Helps much. my reputation with the rebels and with Okara, and I get Okara. reputation and experience, so it's all around a good deal. It's worth the money. Three hundred bucks is nothing. Get more than that from the items I looted from his cave, probably. Okay, so that's that. So that's another quest. And then, real quick before we end this particular video, I'm going to run up to this um, burnt out cottage to the left here. Just kind of orient herself. This is the cliff face that we were following earlier, where we killed those ripper beasts. And it leads to this uh, hut with a skeleton out front. And so, before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then the key, again, is to track the skeletons one by one. As I presume there's more than just the one guy. And there's several chests. So I think that's what I'm going to do is to finish this video. Let's kill this skeleton and then uh, loot those chests. I think his friend is going to notice here in a second. Uh oh, he's got a lot of friends. Okay, I'm running. Run away. Too many friends. <laughs> and there was lag. And lag is the devil. It will kill you. I'm not sure what the issue is. Maybe I need to restart the old computer or whatever. But, um, let's see if I can get this guy isolated. Yes. Yes, I can. The two-handed sword-wielding skeletons are not too bad, because their weapons are so slow that if you just let them attack once, you can pretty much um, spam them with uh, slash attacks as long as you don't let up and as long as they don't get lucky or there's some terrain issue that interferes with your ability to fight them, then you'll be on your way to decapitating them in no time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quick save. And then... Um, See if I can grab this plant. One of the skeletons sort of emerged from the wall of that hut, and I wonder if I can't get him isolated somehow. Because I don't like skeletons popping out from places you don't expect them. I wonder if that's the one I killed, though. The other two-hander guy? I don't, I don't know. I guess I, I wonder how many there are total. There's three more. Okay, and he just popped through that house. So I'm going to see if I can isolate one of them. Got rid of the third guy. <coughs> yeah, it's going to be tough. If I'm careful enough, I can do... Yep, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Simple skeleton. I wonder why he's simple. Is that an, another adjective indicating a quest? One wonders. Okay, grab a sword. And just two more to go. This is going very well. I'm getting good at killing skeletons. Getting lots of experience. Before too long here, I'll have another level up. Come on, dude. I don't like this rock. I might slide down it, give him an opening, but I killed him first. There's my level up, I, just as I predicted. Okay, let's kill this last skeleton and raid this farm. Plant. I'm glad there are no skeletal archers on this farm because those guys are a pain in the ass. Because they'll hit you with an arrow while you're doing this uh, slashing technique. And that will cause an interruption which will cause the skeleton to gain the upper hand and make a few good shots and 
potentially kill you. I kill I died in that cave a couple episodes ago, the last episode because of that a few times. Whoop, there's snappers. I don't want to deal with the snappers right now. Just wanna loot the farm guys. Okay, so this is a rather dangerous area of Mertana. It's obviously the deep wilderness, and so there's a lot of enemies around. So you just got to mind your steps and be careful. And um, let uh, Enos shed his blessings upon thee. Okay, and we've got a hunting bow. Which is not so good, but we've got some arrows, which are, I'll take. Nothing particularly dramatic here. No cave or anything. Just a couple of random sucky chests and some skeleton skill for experience. But we've cleared this area, and just to show you where we're on the map now, we're actually very deep into the wilderness area around Okara. And so um, I think that's going to do it for now, but uh, if you've been watching, thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to continuing our story next time on Let's Play Gothic 3. And just remember, the professor, you know who I'm talking about, Professor Snuggles is looking out for you. Thanks for watching.